We're broadcasting live from New Sin Stadium in Nashville, home of the Lycans and the world capital of country music. Oh, I just love country music, Rim. Always some sweet song about a man's family or his dog. Or how he had sex with all of them. There's my smokes. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for NFL action. The insane Colts go up against the Nashville Lycans. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> The panty wagons in the parking lots are full. The familiar scent of bodily fluids in the air. And the men's room is both flooding and on fire. And that means NFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, last week some mutant let out a lava blast in one of the stalls in the men's room. Place went up like an oil rig. Flames and explosions. Water shooting out of where the toilets were. <laughs> I electrocuted myself using the electric hand dryer. I wish they had paper towels at least as an option. Yo, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. You know what they say? Sometimes it's bad offense, and the chains are full <laughs> He's at the 20. A touchdown saving tackle. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Mistakes here, just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. First and ten. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. Caught for the first down. First and ten. Oh, nice hit. Second down and six. Nicely done. 
Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. You have got to be kidding me. My sister could have made that kick. Here comes the kicker. Ma, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all you can eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And it's first and ten. Punched his way out of that tackle. Nice pick up for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty... Is that right, Grim? That penalty makes no sense. It's something ain't kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. This coach must have played, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. One. Let's see if they can get a return. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brutal hit! And it's first and ten. It's a four-yard game. Huh? 
And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Finally. Second down and six. And that's a nice run for a first down. And it's first and ten. Pow! With the brain scrambler! And that'll be second down and four. He could go all the way! And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. Reception. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. And I don't want to see the comment section on that replay of the kick. Yeesh. That was terrible. Yeah, he's going to get the right fuckle treatment after that miss. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback, just like that. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. for a first down. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Kill the ref play. Just saying. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this win. And it's first and goal. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> Yeah. 
First down and six. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second and three. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> and the easiest play in the league, and he chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. He's a midnight smoker. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. <laughs> he took a beast boost. Devastating hit. Knocks the ball loose. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And here comes the extra point attempt. You gotta be kidding me! My sister could have made that kick! Isn't your sister in a wheelchair? I know, right? The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Call man about a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a first time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth... The timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And that'll be second down and four. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. And that'll bring up third and one. Cereal, the old nut crunch. <laughs> well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. He's a midnight smoker. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad 
kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company. Oh, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> and it's first and ten. He zings it in there for a four-yard gain. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Second down and six. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time, and I have mastered it. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. The quarterback burns his last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Well, good heads up play there, getting it out of bounds. Better than throwing a pick. I'd be impressed if he splits the uprights from this far away, Bricks. If he doesn't, they're going to split his skull wide open. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I do. Hey, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for... You, you know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. And he breaks it. That is caught for a first down. First and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. And he just used his beat boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, oh, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! Gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. 
And that'll be second down and four. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Third and four. Train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big porta John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. And my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. And it's first and ten. He is rolling thunder and pouring pain. It's a zap attack. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. And the runner is going to be back. Oh, what a sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. <laughs> QB is saying his prayers. Oh, he just got crushed. And he's going to have to boot this one halfway to hell. It's good. No silver bullets going to Look at him. Offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore. Yeah. And they'll line up for the punt here.
Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return here. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. First and ten. That pass was good for ten yards. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. <laughs> he dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and ten. <laughs> Picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Third down and three. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! <laughs> they want more points, so they're going for two. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. 
The four people on the planet who care about rules and kickoffs must be happy to see a flag down. I'm just happy to see anything after that laser pointer accident. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. to the races and there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty the ref appears to be cheating he's just making shit up first down and long offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery you gotta take bribes if you're a ref, Bricks. They get paid peanuts next to these players. It's hard to make a decent living. Yeah, even harder when you're dead. <laughs> First down in a mile. And chainsaws really have a way of extending the <laughs> and stumbling he could go all the way and he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there and it's first and ten Second down in a mile. And the bomb goes off, hurting no one. Yeah, if a bomb don't kill anyone, does it still make a sound? Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Third down and forever. This offense is rolling. Mom, then that was a pass play. Rolling plays him in bowling. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. And he gets three yards on that run. Yeah. Second down and seven. Oh, 
and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite, Dave, because he's the one who just got wiped out. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Oh, what a brutal hit! Second, the QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And it was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. You know, the league used to flag this for excessive celebration. You know, refs really don't want to get too close to the rabid roided out monsters. And don't even get me started on the werewolf. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. And the easiest play in the league, and he chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. He'll be going on site here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. And it's first and ten. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And defense calls its final timeout. Good! I gotta run to the John! That means I gotta deal with that grubby little bathroom attendant again. Always pushing his lifesaver's dirty comb, hairspray, cheap cologne on me. Hey, I'm here to take a crap. Not get ready for a date. Well, you never know who you're gonna meet when you're in the... He caught it! And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. They're going for two points. And he gets into the end zone for the conversion. Well, two years ago, this guy was a buried, rotting corpse at the edge of the galaxy. And today, look at him. He's a dancing scoring machine. What a story. What a, what a wonderful story. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I know so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. Touchdown! No silver bullet's gonna bring them. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It's good. <laughs> the onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal possession. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. Oh, add that kick to his highlight reel. That was perfect. And since 
missing the kicker. That brings him up to a one hole highlight. The offense goes into their two minute drill. What the hell was that? It's the same thing in the hurry up offense, you moron. I am so good. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple... With a devastating loss at home, the Lycans are licking their wounds. Looks like the werewolves are licking more than their wounds, Grim. Oh, that's gross. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. I'm a house devil on shiver. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...